provided my years of middle school education with endless entertainment is Ricky Laverne Blackwell, principal of Regis Middle School. Mr. Blackwell managed to look very busy while upon closer inspection, what amounted to nothing. He looked like a goose goblin whose eyes were permanently widened, perhaps from all the years of women's volleyball or men's wrestling. <laughs> all of my first Regis experiences involved him intruding upon one of my classes to discuss volleyball strategies with my teacher mid-lecture. I can't remember one Blackwell speech that he didn't remind us he was the head coach of the Mount Mercy women's volleyball team, as if he wanted us to congratulate him daily on his career accomplishment. <laughs> While my teachers were not what you'd call top of the line, I felt myself feeling sorry for them. On the rare occasion, he acted as a principal. He would sit in on classes, evidently, to evaluate the teachers, because it was certainly not to learn our names. My class had about 115 students, and he never knew mine or any of my friends' names referring to us, rather, by our relative shape and color of shirt. He would spout random anecdotes, never quite on subject, volleyball, Republican Party dogma, the evils of spaghetti strap dresses, that coated the air with his awkward, unintended self-revelations. He was also incredibly self-centered, often calling meetings in the gymnasium simply to pontificate about whatever topic he had thought of that morning. One such meeting was to tell us to stop calling each other gay. <laughs> He's made this sensitivity training session into an insensitive anti-gay rally. <laughs> he also censored President Obama's speech to school children while hiding behind the excuse that this presidential address would waste class time. The irony of his sudden commitment to preserving instructional time during a democratic presidential administration was lost only on him. Another school legend was the, the time when he accidentally implied he was a sexist pedophile. <laughs> at the bottom of the Regis Hill, there were two girls at the goofing off or doing whatever it is little school girls can do to annoy a principal. And Blackwell yelled down at them, If you two were boys, I'd be all over you. <laughs> I think he was simply simple. Half of his job was to supervise lunchtime, and one particularly rowdy lunch, he overheard the utterance of the F word. I can't imagine the outcome he was attempting to achieve when he asked the kid to repeat himself. Maybe it was too embarrassing. Caught off guard and too slow to blame someone else, the kid said something along the lines, along the lines of, what did I say? Blackwell's reply was priceless. Pointing to his office door, I'll show you what you said. 